it, it changes the game because um keeps people honest like no it's not even the fighting just knowing that someone could hit um the first thing that i've noticed with as soon as body checking is now introduced because when i was a kid it was you you were doing checking all the time like it was checking right away from like u10 it's like as soon as you start playing travels like hitting was there right away um and so i kind of want to talk about maybe like first get your perspective on like the role of the role of body checking like what it does to the game um and what kind of like changes you can expect to see at whatever level you start to have that implemented like obviously we focus more on like um, the AAA level, but what does it? What elements does it add to the game, and how does it change things? Um, where, you know, well, I'll just leave it at that. Like, how, how do you find like it changes things, or how do you find that? What does it add to the to hockey now? Yeah, well, I can I go back, go back, back. So you know, it's funny to me, um, because same, never never played a game of hockey without body checking or whatever, and I was it was natural to me. So yeah, there's obviously some big size differences and all that stuff. But this is actually pretty interesting. So if you, we have to look at the history of hockey, right? The history of hockey is uh, like, like ho- hockey was meant to be a very violent game, period. So like in, in the last, I don't know, however many years, it's always been, try- always been trying to make it not so violent. But the, the, the nature of hockey is very, very, very violent. And when it first started, it was even more violent. So I'll take you, you back just a little bit. I we did a we did a podcast a while back on the history of hockey and you know I'm sure someone asked like how did hockey start like where did you you know who who decided five guys against five guys and you know a puck and a net and all that kind of stuff like to because we see it what for what it is but it doesn't take that long it's like a hundred and some years uh, when it started um, the history of it was it's based off of rugby the rules were rugby so like when I was reading some of the old rules like if you think about it, it's like why the forward pass was introduced what, so i was like what do you mean the forward pass because i didn't know that it was based on the rules of rugby right so in rugby you you have to move the ball the only way you can move the ball is back so you run forward and move it back so that was how hockey was played and if you look at the game of rugby violent game right that it's the nature of the game it's violent it's not rugby without the hitting and the and hammering each other that's what the game is so that's the nature of hockey is that so a funny a funny thing last night um brett who is uh charlie's billet dad <laughs> great guy he sends some stuff like usually inappropriate <laughs> but last night he sent me a fight from it was uh, bob pulford i think he played for toronto at the time got in a fight with someone in montreal and then they sent them to the penalty box the penalty box there was only one so they sat beside each other and then of course they pounded the shit out of each other there and then it was the next game either toronto or montreal whatever added an additional penalty box so they started adding penalty boxes so what we have to do when we, we we look at things like this like even fighting in hockey is we have to go back to the origins of the sport and realize that it's actually the sport It'd be, it, to me, it's like, maybe, I, maybe I'm not correct here, but if you took boxing, you took punching to the head away from boxing, then it's not boxing. You know what I mean? So the, the, the integrity of the sport, or the, the, the beginning of the sport was a very, very violent game. And um, so it, it, to me, that's hockey. I, and I wouldn't want it any other way. And, and then uh, just a, one other thing is uh, I had dinner with um, – uh, Vilmer Ulrichson, Ulrichson's parents in Ottawa last weekend. And uh, Vilmer's a six foot six kid, big boy. And we were talking and uh, we, were, we were just talking a little bit about the about the game and said Vilmer's getting used to the, the how uh, like the like there's fighting and like he comes, comes from Sweden, right? So they've changed their rules a lot, right? And he said like in Sweden, so Vilmer's getting used to like you, you can run guys over. He goes, you you can, you have to be ready. So he's big, take care of himself, no problem. But he goes, it's it's different because in he said in Sweden where he was playing, if you hit someone too hard, they would give you a penalty. It was like, that's, so they judge that, well, that one was too hard or unnecessary. So like it's changed around the world, but the essence of the NHL and our North American hockey for sure 
is a very violent game. So we have to have the hitting in there, and uh, it, it's part of it. So anyways, you're going to jump in. Well, I just think that there's a uh, <clears> – <throat> this is one of my biggest rebuttals to when people talk about taking – certain aspects of the game away whether it's fighting whether it's hitting and whatever and and obviously there's a line to be drawn <clears throat> around like stupidity like hits to the head targeting the head jumping guys sucker punches like these kinds of things it's like i don't think that that adds to the game necessarily i think it's an unnecessary level of risk for me personally but if you start to take some of these things away, like if there isn't body contact, if there isn't fighting, if there isn't that threat of violence, then the game is just fundamentally different. And I think the entertainment value just drops off a cliff. I don't and, want to watch a hockey game if there's no hitting. Yeah, and 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 this is the this is the thing that some people maybe it's it's still an interesting game to them, but it totally changes the dynamics when there isn't the possibility that you can get run over, or there isn't the possibility that somebody will come and fight you. And again, that is not justifying like any level of stupidity or any level of kids getting hurt for no reason or, or that kind of thing. But it's almost like I think of it, the, the, the exaggerated comparison I make is like with the UFC. It's like when you sign up for the UFC, you're signing up for a sport where you could get hurt. That is what you're choosing to do. And you can choose to do a different sport if you don't want to do that. You know, so I think that with hockey or with any contact sport, football, whatever, rugby, when you remove those elements, the game is now different. And when you just talk to kids, like I have trained a bunch of kids that are, are 2010s and they're talking about now, like how different it is when a guy can come and run you over, even though all of them are in their first year and not a lot of them know how to hit or not a lot of them understand different things about that. We'll get into later about hitting. They're still just like, I'm things are different now. Like it's just a different total. It's a totally different mindset than when you can just freewheel around with your head down and no one's going to come and crank you. Right. So to me, I think the biggest thing that it brings to hockey is just the entertainment value. Like people for all of evolution have been watching violence. Like there's something about it that, that people just like, you know, back, go back to the Coliseum in Rome. It's like people just like that. We have like an internal drive that, that is, interesting to us to you watch the warrior defeat the other thing like that's just a thing that we like to see so it's it's in movies that we watch it's in action films it's always all around us you know and so i don't think that obviously like i said outside of the stupidity taking that out of the game will just make us not care about it anymore it would be a sport that just drifts off into the distance well it, cares, see the right? thing is is that it cha like it changes the whole game like this is, uh, I, I, I mean, I will go back to, or maybe we'll get to this later. It, ch it changes the game because it um, keeps people honest. Like, no, it's not even the fighting. Just knowing that someone could hit. Like, you you get a, when you play on a team and you know someone's like a heavy hitter, some guys don't want to play. You know, like, I remember playing junior and Brian Marchman, and he was like an open ice hitter, um, borderline, or maybe he was just dirty. And then we had, like, every team had a, guys like that. But he was, like, extremely um, like that. But you had to keep your head up. Like, that was just the bottom line. That's And so that that's a pretty cool thing to be able to bring to a team is that you can you can, you can physically take over a game because you might instill a little bit of fear. And I'm just talking hitting. I'm not talking about anything else, just hitting. Like, a good body checker is uh, is a game changer. 